Monday, August 26th, it's about 11 a.m. Woke up really late today. My body was super tired, so I just listened to it. Uh, I like to wake up earlier, that's for sure, but today we're just starting it later. And the weather is cloudy, gloomy. We just had a storm this past weekend, so it allowed me to sleep in. Normally you can't even sleep in past like 7 a.m. here because it's so hot. Today we start marathon training. We start marathon training for the December marathon here in Hawaii. I don't know what date exactly, I think it's like 11th to the 14th, but uh, we're going for a sub three marathon. So we got a lot of prepping to do. So today, I think I'm gonna go for, uh, try to get my heart rate in like 140s. Uh, it's probably like an 8.30 pace for me. I wish it was lower, but haven't been running as often or doing any high intensity cardiovascular workout. So my heart rate is gonna be jumped. Got the Garmin 245 Forerunner if I could put on. I've been trying to put this on for like the whole time I'm talking. This one's the music edition. I don't listen to music when I run, uh, but if you do, I highly recommend this. Fucking put it on. Before my run, this is what I'm gonna be doing. One scoop of this electrolytes does the trick. I think I'm gonna head towards San Diego, uh, California. I think that's my next step. I'm not too sure when yet. I'm supposed to be out of this house at the end of the week and uh, I'm just gonna Airbnb it for a month. I try to look for roommates for a month, but honestly, I do better just by myself. So Airbnb, it, it's definitely really expensive, but saved up some money. And uh, yeah, I believe in myself, so I'm just gonna trust the process, do that. I think it'll be good for me, some time alone. I've been here with some roommates and uh, definitely need some more me time. For a month, doesn't mean I have to stay for a month, but I would like to stay for the money I spend. And then we're gonna see from there. But I'm excited to bring you guys along with that journey. That's the next step. Just wanna update you guys. I wanna say a five to eight mile run today, depending on how toast I get. If I don't feel good, I always just do four to five miles at least, and then if I want to, I'll come back to it later in the day. Let's get going. I think we're gonna rip these Brooks Glycerin 21s today. So sick, they fit like a, like a glove, it's like a sock. I definitely recommend these for like a chill, everyday kind of training shoe, nothing crazy, just like low heart rate. And then I have my Endorphin Speed 4s from Saucony that I use uh, for a little more faster pace. It's supposed to be for speed training because it does have a plate in it, but I'd be cheating sometimes and just use it whenever I want, so. I'm actually so stoked right now. This weather is like perfect for running. Anytime, basically in Hawaii when it's sunny out, it's so hard to just run without, you know, catching too much sun and just, it just killing you. You get so exhausted. The sun takes so much out of you. I like the backfire, but not when it's too much, you know? We just got to the park, Capulani Park, and I'm rocking these Young LA shorts, these marathon shorts they just came out with. Use code Mateo if you want a surprise at checkout. I think it's like 10%, maybe 15. Just signed with them, I'm super stoked. A little more income to fulfill my lifestyle is a blessing, but check them out. They're pretty solid, I mean, I feel like perfect length, really breathable. Gets the job done, so yeah. Code Mateo, Young LA website. Marathon shorts, go get them. Yeah, we're gonna slap on these brooks and see where the day takes us. Yeah, so I haven't ran in like a week. Learning a little bit more about my body and how it fluctuates while I'm doing these things. So now I'm stoked to incorporate running while building size as well. I'm not even trying to be, you know, uh, a certain way. I just, I wanna have more muscle in certain areas. I feel like a walking billboard right now, but Elwood also. Great clothes, great quality clothes. I know it's not really a running cap, but I use Elwood caps and their shirts all the time. I use code Mateo10 at checkout. Leave my phone at the car just because uh, I don't like to carry it. I have my watch to track it and uh, it gives me time just to space out from social media. It gives me time to space out for the day and get ready for what's, uh, what's coming next. So leaving this behind, I'll see you guys soon. We did eight miles at an eight minute and eight second average minute per mile pace. Not too sure what the heart rate was, but uh, we got it in. Eight miles, eight minutes, all that good stuff. I haven't ran like that in a while, so my legs are definitely a little tense, and a little sore. We did a little elevation climb, nothing crazy. Uh, if you've ever been to Oahu, Hawaii, you know Diamond Head up and down the loop, it's beautiful. 
right next to the ocean. I'm pretty stoked that I can still run eight miles after not doing it for a week. Um, not easy, but relatively like I wasn't dying. Even when you don't work out like say every day of the week or maybe take a week off running, but you're still active in other ways, um, it's nice because you can always count on your body to do something if you really need to. You know, the reason I run like this is because I have goals and I wanna do stuff later in life, but also just in case I ever need to run eight miles because my car broke down and I need to get somewhere ASAP or, you know, anything in that situation, it's nice to not be helpless and to have your body with you at all times and being physically capable of doing that kind of stuff is what excites me and what pushes me because one day my family's gonna need me or one day I'm gonna need myself to do that stuff. So 12.48 p.m. Let's see what the day has ahead of us. Got out the shower, got home to a box of Melon hats. Shout out to Melon. Been working with them for a little bit of time now. All the good stuff. I think the best part about being a social media person, that's what you want to call me. <laughs> the free stuff, but I like to give it away as much as possible. Because I remember when I was younger and all these pro skaters would have stuff to hand out. Now I'm the, not a pro skater, but I have all this stuff I can hand out because I don't think I'm gonna need 30 of these hats. <laughs> but these are super sick. Thank you, Melon. The beautiful Mariah. Wait, these are all legends? I think so. That's so cool. Isn't that nuts? For today's little brekkie lunch, first meal of the day, even though it's 2.50 p.m. Siggy's, yogurt, bunch of berries. Uh, we got this little dark chocolate bar for a snack, because why not? It's not the best ingredients, but once again, Tastes good. Sometimes I like to add this in my yogurt bowls. It's just pretty good. It felt like having a little crunch to my bowl. Ooh. All right, that might be too much, honey. A lot of people will add their protein powder to this and a little bit of water, and it gives it like a kind of a, like a sludge, protein sludge consistency, like an ice cream. Yogurt bowl made from the gods. We got granola, yogurt, some berries, some dark chocolate I added to the top. Maybe you oh shit. Oh. <laughs> Cheers. Mwah. One and only Mariah. She brought me out of the house uh, this evening. We're not gonna do a lift because this thing still has to heal. And like after running it with it all day, all the sweat didn't really help it. So Coco Head, I'm gonna burn some calories and enjoy a beautiful sunset. It's a little earlier. I'm gonna go to the mall after and run some errands. That's pretty much what we're doing today. I'll show you guys what we got going on tomorrow morning. We're gonna skip to that in three, two, one. All right guys, we're on the way to the beach. Today's Tuesday, we did come up this morning. Me and Mariah. Go chest the back workout later. I'll show you guys that, but for now we're going to the beach. Nice drive. We're at Cromwell Beach right now. Just getting a little bit of reading in and just enjoying some sun. Quick pit stop. <laughs> what do you <laughs> what I got there? Frozen yogurt made with bananas. Super good. It's like my favorite dessert here. Uh, it's the middle of the day. And we're having this. Basically for like the first meal. We had a couple oranges and stuff, but first meal. First meal. Mm -hmm. I get the chunk of deli. Definitely gotta give this a shot when you come here. I'm gonna scarf this down. We're at Capiolani Park here in Oahu. This is my favorite spot to run around. We're gonna just uh Work out at the park, do a little bit of calisthenics, just to get the body pumped, you know, nothing crazy. A couple rounds of push-ups, couple rounds of pull-ups, enjoy the fresh air. It's a beautiful sunset as always. We got Chris right behind the camera. What up, man? man. And uh, yeah, it's been a nice day. I think tomorrow, super excited because we got like a, a speed training workout for my new training program to be sub three marathon in Hawaii. So I'm stoked on that. Damn, look at this. Sun always comes down on the mountain. Woohoo! I need to take some tips, man. That's a good pullover right there. <laughs> Look at all these people being active. Beautiful, love to see it. I'll try to do a couple muscle ups. There we go, that's one. I've done them in so long. 
kind of kept them. But up. the form's there. Let's <sighs> see the rake. <sighs> see the rake. See this form. I got five. I've been doing this in so long. All right, let, let me see what I fucking crank I any. I kip them though. I don't do them like proper. Oh, he got four years of gymnastics on me. Oh, easy. Are oh, you flying with them? Who? <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, my problem is just not staying like straight legs, you know? Never get easier. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Just, uh, I just wanted to get out here and get some fresh air. Nothing too crazy. Probably do like 10 more pull-ups, a couple more muscle-ups, a little more push-ups. Call it a day. That basically wraps it up for today's Tuesday. Uh, having some dinner right now. Just having some grass-fed ground beef, 93% lean, 7% fat, with some feta cheese and some hot sauce. This is what I'm having. I'm not too hungry, so I'm just going to eat this, get my protein in, and call it a night. Tomorrow, we got a speed training session. We didn't run today because shout-out to Jake, my new coach, running coach for this marathon prep. Uh, he's got me on this program where I can't go above 38 miles for the first week. He just wants to see consistency. It's all about consistency and how much you can put yourself to a goal. He wants to see how hard I can hit that goal and not overstep it and not go under. Wednesday, tomorrow morning, we're going to rip it at 6 a.m. bright and early. One mile warm up, four mile tempo fast at a 6.30 pace and a one mile cool down. 6.30 pace is the slowest i can go for that four miles it's going to be a fart lick so i'm learning all these running terms as well when i finish the first mile i'm going for three minutes at a 6 30 or, or faster pace and then a one minute cool off at a, like a 7 30 and then probably repeating that about six times until i hit four miles and uh i'm ready to rip it but honestly like <sighs> kind of nervous haven't done any speed work in a while so i'm gonna just rest up watch some youtube edit for you guys and then Get ready for the morning. So, I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. It's Wednesday morning, August 28th. I love to get up early in the mornings with no one around. I mean, 4 a.m., 5 a.m. is ideally probably the best time to really find your solitude. Six thirty for today's workout. We have one mile warm up at like an eight to eight thirty minute per mile pace, and then we have a four mile tempo run, three minutes on at a six thirty or faster pace. Then we're doing a one minute cool off to about a seven thirty. So not like drastically, uh, not crazy. You know, like I'm not sitting there going straight from a six thirty to an eight thirty. Going rather from a six thirty to a seven thirty. And then after that minute of kind of just like cooling off a little bit, we're going back to three minutes of 6.30 or faster, whatever my body's feeling comfortable with. And then we're going back to one minute. We're gonna repeat that 
as many times as I have to in order to get four miles. And then we're gonna end it off with one mile cool down. This, this guy's making me scream. Get the morning started. Six miles to go. Wednesday workout. Time to fight some demons. Woo! That one was rough. Felt really good. 6.3 miles down the bag for Wednesday morning. Oh my God. I am so cooked. 6.3 miles. Like I'm dripping sweat. So hot. 6.55 over all pace and 43 minutes. One mile warm up. Felt good. Felt natural, you know. I didn't feel uh, like anything was wrong. Just a normal mile. And then once we started to get going, I felt really good. Um, you know, not running yesterday is much needed because, I mean, although I did a lot of exercise besides running, um, I think that it was a nice break and it gave me enough energy for today because Wednesdays and Saturdays are the most important in my training block. Since we started the second mile, I was ripping it. It was good to go. I think I went at a 6.15. Average a minute per mile pace for three minutes and then one minute off and then gradually I sped up. There was one time um, where I was hitting like a 620 and I was feeling pretty gassed. I think that was about like the fourth round of three minutes on one minute off. And then on the last two rounds, I was ripping like a 550 um, for the three minutes. So it felt really good just to get my legs going, get it all. I'm not supposed to go 100% on those just yet. It's the first week. So I'm sure gradually it'll build over time with mileage and with, you know, how hard I'm going to go. But that was supposed to be a 75 to 90 percent effort. Definitely, definitely more on the, you know, 80 to 90 percent side because I get the best of myself. But man, beautiful morning. Feeling good. Time to go home and just chill out and uh, get some stretching in, respond to some emails and, you know, try to figure some more stuff out. So, oh, I got a pack too. And uh, I got to secure the Airbnb, so stay tuned for that. Boom, how to do it to them. So this is the first thing I'm having today. Check this out. It's a big yogurt bowl. It's got all types of berries, raspberries, blackberries, blueberries, banana, dark chocolate. And we have a Siggy Skier yogurt with some raw honey and granola. We're going to dive right into this. Enjoy a little bit of the view. All right, guys. So after we wrapped up editing a little bit, we're here at the beach. Kahala Beach, it's right by our house, so might as well, or our old house, might as well take advantage of it. Look how beautiful this is. Oh yeah, beautiful day. Fresh coke in the water. So this thing goes in the water and you put your iPhone right there. <laughs> I got my phone wet. We're just gonna soak it up. We got yoga school tonight. We're going, me, Mariah, and Chris. I'm gonna get Chris for the first time. He's gonna die, I can't wait. It's uh, it's about 4.20. We're going to Core Power Yoga in town right now. Alright, first timer. <laughs> first timer here. See, my camera's so blurry. Alright, well, we're here at yoga. Uh, yoga sculpt. We're definitely not gonna film as much here just because everyone comes here for like, a little, a little piece, so uh, super excited. We're gonna get into it, super sweaty. Maybe I'll catch a couple clips, but I'll catch up with you guys after. I'm absolutely cooked. Open up that hole, breathe out. Chilling, bro. I use eights. Eights for all time? All time, man. I think Mariah beat you. Mariah cooked me. Mariah did like 10s. No matter how much you go to the gym, don't grab heavy weights. 15s for me is way too much still. Light work. Light work. Yeah. Easy. What about you, dog? First time. First time to charm. <laughs> I think we did like an hour flat of just dying. And my heart rate gets so hot. Shout out to Geo Core Power at Ward. 5pm. 5pm on Wednesdays if you're ever in Hawaii on the walk off. Oh my god.
picked up some stuff for dinner tonight to refuel after those two workouts for Wednesday. We have some broccolini here. We got two ribeye steaks and we got some potatoes. We're gonna make some baked potatoes. I like to cook the steaks, cook the steaks in beef tallow, but I've been using olive oil because we've been out recently and since we're moving, I'm not gonna buy new stuff. I'll let you guys see when the final product is here in like 30 minutes or something. Honestly, I should go to culinary school because I could be the best chef in the world. Shout out to Action Bronson for doing it all. Mm. Oh yeah. Look at the caviar. Mm -hmm. She's bougie. And then I made her a filet mignon because for some reason, these came out like dog water. <laughs> all good, because this is my plate. Loaded baked potato with sour cream cheese, Parmesan, steak, broccolini. I think that's gonna call it for a night. See you guys tomorrow morning. Back to training. Thank <laughs> you.